Uh, I have been asked about the relationship between morphology and syntax. Actually, the first thing we should know about it. When you say morphology and syntax, you are dealing with written language, not spoken language, just written. Wherever there is writing, letters or something, you are dealing with morphology and syntax. These two levels of sub subfields of linguistics, actually, they have a relationship. First of all, uh, morphology. Morphology is dealing with words and how words are constructed. Just the word, how the word is constructed. If it's just root and pace, according to English, of course, and Arabic too. <clears throat> words, if you want to study just the word and how it's constructed and the affixation, whether it's prefix or suffix, and infixation in, in Arabic, all these things are related to study of words, which is morphology. Some say, well, formation is also morphology. <clears throat> and the second one is syntax. Syntax is dealing with the relationship between these two, uh, these words to construct of phrases, sentences, and clauses, whatever. Block. When it comes to English language, it's, it's easy to see this relationship. First of all, morphology actually is is divided into two subfields or two morphologies actually. Inf inf uh, inflectional morphology and derivational morphology. Inflectional morphology, inflectional morphology is assigned grammatical functions to words. To assign grammatical functions to words to make sentences and phrases. So the, the direct relationship between inflectional morphology and syntax, okay? We know all the about the gender, case, uh, number, person, all the things have, have been assigned by functional morphology to to syntax to build sentences and phrases. But the functional morphology it actually builds uh, builds uh, the the already box. Blocks. It blocks means the her, the categories of, of words like nouns, verbs, uh, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, whatever. Uh, actually, the revision of morphology is building this makes verbs into adjectives like uh, friend, friendly, whatever, uh, like uh, nouns to verbs, verbs to nouns, and being dropped up on being hand into syntax already assigned. So however, uh, the, the, actually the relationship between morphology is divided into two. Inflectional morphology is is in direct relationship with syntax actually. Some say that the the, the sentence interpretation in English is being is, is, is actually the head of the sentence in English is inflectional morphology because it is it, the ma the boss or the minister who uh, the, the master who assigned the relationship between words in horizontal line in English of course so to sum up this relationship we can say that the the two morphologies, actually, the inflectional morphology is in direct relationship to syntax because it is the, the master of a sentence to be interpretable or to be comprehensible, as I, as I said before. So, an inflectional morphology assign the grammatical functions to words to be ready 
to make sentences, and, to make phrases and sentences in syntax. Okay? And the reflection morphology is just sitting there making these blocks, new, blo new words, new, actually to be more precise, new categories of words to be ready to put in, in the sentences or phrases. So her, the relationship, as I said, again, directional morphology assign grammatical functions to words to, to make phrases and sentences, and the professional morphology makes the, 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 the new categories of, of words come to information morphology to make them to, to assign them any grammatical functions and make phrases and sentences. So it's actually a direct relationship between morphology and syntax. So thank you for listening.